Good morning. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM on this very um, celebratory Monday. Celebratory Monday. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And it's a magnificent Monday, and I'm Maddie Conklin. Go Chiefs. Go Chiefs. You couldn't tell. Come we got on. our Chiefs gear. Oh, gosh. Right, what a. See the back. I got what a Chiefs. There you go. There we go. There Boom. you go. Boom. Nailed Boom. it. Boom. Nailed it. Crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, I'm just glad that's over with. Can I can I say something that uh, I found really funny yesterday? Yeah. I texted you and I was like, win or lose, are we wearing red tomorrow? And you go, I can't even think about that right now. I don't want to jinx it. I was like, I, I was. I was like, why are you okay, checking before the game? <laughs> What I'm gonna wear because I I can't I, jinx it. Well, I was trying to prep everything before the game so I could really be locked in. And so I texted you and you were like, I can't think about it right now. <laughs> I was like, I will okay, say, all right. <laughs> um, Jesse Inman and I did something, I think, kind of similar a couple years ago. Okay, so they were in the big game. Okay. And I typically go to bed before it's over. Right, So right. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Right. So I'll just say this. Uh, one of the big games they were playing a couple years ago, when I went to bed, I did lay out two outfits. Two outfits, okay. I had the, the celebratory one, and, and then I seriously had all black. And the morning one. And I will just say, <laughs> The next day, when Jesse and I both came to work, we were both wearing black. Oh. Do you remember that, Jesse? It's a morning of mornings. It's a morning of mornings. I just, so when you texted me that, it reminded me of that similar yeah. situation. I'm like, I can't think about this. I don't want to jinx it. I, know. I can't pick out clothes yet. <laughs> yep. Because unless I'm going straight to bed, like I do for the big games in the past, yes. when I have to, well, yeah. I was like, I don't want to be stressed. I don't want to be stressed. I, I don't want to jinx them anymore. I just need two, two options. One is good, one is not so favorable, but yes. we have them. So. But at least I felt like I was giving both at the time. But since the game was earlier yesterday, I was like, Oh, it was so great. I'm so oh, happy it. it was at two. But yeah. does the big game typically always happen at like five? Yes, the big oh. game is always at night. That's Dang why, it. Jury remote, can we bring in, because we're so excited, let's bring in Angela and yes. Jesse for this. Let's do and it. And look let's at Jesse, it. look at Sorry, you. I had to uh, what? Hey, hey. quick wardrobe change <laughs> what? after daybreak. You know, let me what just, up? Let me uh, lose the formality here. A yeah, let's it. do it. Let's, hey, no, what up, what? Mahomes? Let's, we're not doing this. Guess what, Jesse? I know, I was wondering. I'm joining you. <laughs> and let's go. I'm going to keep my coat on because it's my chief's gear. Let's go. My microphone just fell off. I'm going to keep the dress on. I came prepared with a Super Bowl patch and everything. Oh, Ready to go. Awesome. Do you remember pumped. that game, Jesse? The, yeah. Of course you do, because uh, <laughs> I went I went to bed uh -huh. thinking our team had lost. Yeah. Oh I my. woke up the next morning and we had won. Oh, you, you know, right. you prepare yeah, yeah. for the worst, but you hope yeah. for the best. Yeah. And hey, you know, we got the best. You wanted the best, you got the best. You got the Chiefs. <laughs> wow. So, so. Wait, is that the new? Is that the that last year? Oh, last, was last year. year. I thought the same thing too, and then yeah. I saw the green. Yeah. There's yeah. A, yep. Mm -hmm. With the uh, red and green Eagles conspiracy. Oh yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the uh, Chiefs conspiracies, they're they're broken. You they're know, broken. Yeah. I know. Conspiracies. Chiefs breaking those. Love Bro to see it. Yep. Breaking uh, records. Breaking conspiracy yeah. theories. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, Travis Kelsey looking a little bit more like Jason now with a huge beard. I saw oh that. yeah. Yeah. I feel like this man grew a beard, a full overnight. beard in like o like overnight. Overnight. Like yeah. chia pet <laughs> status. Like just. <laughs> it's huge, this guy. It's crazy. So I yeah, we're gonna have some fun over the next couple of weeks. Yes, and I absolutely love their dynamic, their their There's family dynamic, their family. brotherly so dynamic. Mm -hmm. Like that moment at the end. I don't know if that's what you guys are talking about. Whether oh, yeah. they hugged, I yes. seriously started tearing oh, up. Was I was like, so oh my god! I love his like Hawaiian <laughs> Chiefs shirt. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That uh, interaction. Some microphones like you know were hot, catching what yeah. they were saying. Yeah. Not safe for work. Exactly. Oh, some, curse words. <laughs> some curse words thrown around between two brothers who love each other. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Game very much. That, that's not your headline, is it? If so, no. we can. Okay. No. Many of you were talking about this this morning because I loved how T Swift uh -huh. waited for oh, wait, and backed out, yes. let the, have the brother moment. Yes, that was awesome. And then she was, was you know, cool. that was so yeah. like respectable. Respectful. Yeah. 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 I yeah. thought that was really neat. Can you imagine Taylor Swift celebrating on your field though, after you just lost? Oh. oh. <laughs> I wonder if they're like, hey, uh, can, I, can I at least get an autograph? I came uh, to this game and all I got I was Taylor Swift's autograph. Oh, man. <laughs> I had posted Sorry. a picture of Maddie and I, you know, that we took on Friday for the game yesterday. And then after the Chiefs won, uh -huh. I got a message from a fan going, have you talked to TJ yet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> TJ. yeah. That's I, right. Did you talk to him? I did text Poor him then immediately. Oh. I didn't text him before the game, so I didn't feel it was right to text him after the game. Oh, so, I mean, really like We no. were texting I, uh, last week I because forgot. of Wait, like a good the, yeah. the matchup. Hours. He did yeah. say, I mean, again, you, you all know and love TJ. I wasn't. Of course. This is, this is very safe work. Uh, love you guys. It's a heartbreaking <laughs> game, but at least yeah. it was a close one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's from TJ. 
Yes. Up Love in the northeast. Good guy. Yes. Good guy. You know him, you love him. You know him, you love Good him. Good guy. And you can hear him coming a mile away. His <laughs> laugh. Yeah, you can. Can we just ask him to visit Springfield just so I can meet this <laughs> mystical I TJ? I feel like, like ships He is a mystical night. being. He's mystical. Yeah. For sure. He's like a magical Leah Pluridon. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, well, we I, know exactly, have... I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to explain Charlie. that. One to me. Okay. It's like a kid Charlie who doesn't understand the jokes. Oh, Candy Mountain. Mm -hmm. ah. Candy Mountain. Charlie. Love it. Okay, sorry. Go ahead Give with your one. Yeah, we, we got headlines. One headline, and we're just gonna talk Chiefs the whole. Okay, cool. Time. Yeah. Cool. That's well. cool with me. Right. I mean, well. hey, you know, I, I'm down for that. <laughs> uh, we do know the Chiefs will be taking on the 49ers in the Super Bowl out in Las Vegas. Okay, which means you can count on a lot of people, Chiefs fans, getting flights out to Vegas for the big weekend. Yes. And you know, a lot to do. In Vegas, of course, if you're not going to the game, which who could afford to do so? Um, yeah, but you know, you could go out there and enjoy a lot of things around the game. Plenty of places to watch it. Mm -hmm. American Airlines is having some fun with this one. The airline added another flight <laughs> out of Kansas City for the weekend of the Super Bowl. American Airlines flight 1989, a reference to one of Taylor Swift's most oh. popular albums. That leaves Saturday around 12.30 in the afternoon. And then Monday morning, American Airlines Flight 87 returns to Kansas City. But talk about a red eye flight on this one. Oh, no. 12 20 a.m. What? On Monday morning. Yeah. Just Ooh. after midnight. Not much time to party mm -hmm. after the game. You're definitely not sleeping on, on that one. Uh uh. uh I'd almost rather it be like then than like 4 30 a.m. Yeah. Because it's like, do I try to get sleep? Yeah. Uh, it's a weird limbo. You're like, yeah. do I take a nap? But it's actually nighttime, so I'm yeah. going to bed, but then it's two hours and it's tough. When I was in college, it was always a tradition that mm -hmm. the seniors and in the mass media department, we always went to the Las Vegas like journalism convention. Okay. Oh, fun. And that fun. is my first time ever taking a red eye from Las Vegas to Kansas uh -huh. City. And I gotta say it is rough. Oh, oh I, I can't. Two hour, and then because minutes. I had to drive another hour and a half up north to northwest Oof. Ah, from KC. You're crazy. So I'm yeah. driving, like trying to stay awake. Uh, yeah. Not safe. That was brutal. Hotels. That was brutal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, sure. no, no, no. I, I definitely slept on the plane and like slept at the airport. So I got my like five hours of sleep, but you still are so tired. For sure. It's interrupted body. too. It's, it's brutal. And your body's like, am I going to wake up? Yeah. Am I going to miss it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now sports experts. Oh boy. Quick question. Since you guys are sports aficionados and uh -huh. we're in the making, yes, yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what have they already been? You know the Vegas odds. Like yep. they always do Vegas odds, and now uh -huh. that the big game is decided yep. and it's in Vegas, it's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Do we have any kind of? We do. Okay. We do. Uh, the first line on this one was Chiefs two and a half point underdogs. Ooh. So Chiefs are underdogs once again in this one. So like they're not going to win. So uh, they're not. Well, they're, they're not they're favored, favored to win. Not favored. Sorry, I, I don't so. understand why though. I mean, they literally were in the Super Bowl last year. We've seen this multiple times. Yeah. Like, I don't really consider the Chiefs underdogs anymore. 2020, yes, when they first went to the Super Bowl, but I uh -huh. literally don't uh -huh. believe But guess who they played anymore. in 2020? I know, yeah. it's a rematch. It's a rematch. I, I, I can know? probably I just... shed some light maybe on the thinking okay. of the Vegas odds makers. Would be Chiefs are a three seed, Niners are the one seed in their respective conference. The Niners have been putting up big points all year, put up a bunch of points yesterday. Uh, big comeback for them. Great good. defense. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's fair to say a lot of people didn't think the Chiefs would make make it to the Super Bowl this year. About halfway through the year. I mean, right? They were taking a lot that. of losses. Mm. Yeah. A lot of people didn't think they'd make it to this point. Oh, they've about said that. that. Yeah. They, they've said that, like, you know, the past couple times the Chiefs have gotten to the, you know, parade. They always say, oh, no one believed in us. Uh, nobody really believed that. A lot of people believed in the Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. also... This year, I would say it's fair to say. A lot of people were counting the Chiefs out. I know, but so. they were the number one seed in the division mm -hmm. for the longest time. So that's why I'm still, I still don't believe the Chiefs are their dogs anymore. I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. I yeah, not believe you know. it. But hey. I just think they always were, Vegas, uh, you know. rarely wrong. Isn't we'll it see. kind of funny, though, how, the, how quickly mm -hmm. the country turns? Like when Patrick uh -huh. Mahomes and they all started doing well mm -hmm. five years ago yes. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And now yeah. I'm like, yeah. we hate the Chiefs. We're yes. the Chiefs. Yeah. People it's from like, other parts of the country. Oh, I was like, oh. wait, what? Not here. They're the big yeah, Like the here, maps here. where yeah, everybody's yeah. rooting for the Ravens. But it's, it's kind of you know. like with the Patriots. I remember that yeah. era, of course, like I was, you know, being from the St. Louis area, we were not too fond of Tom Brady. Yeah. yeah. So, and then, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy how it all flip-flopped. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Hating the Chiefs is a pretty common stance these days. And hey, sometimes you just gotta embrace being the villain. We'll try to keep it classy, Chiefs fans. But, yeah, we always uh, keep it classy. I'm gonna go drink my Especially. Chiefs hater tears. <laughs> hater <laughs> tears. Hater tears. Sipping on tears. I just day. can't wait for, you know, if when we win the big game, we can say, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Taylor Swift. Is that a T-Swift reference? Song. It is. I know, I was like, <laughs> Did anyone, how do we not know that song? I'm not a Swifty. I'm not a Swifty. But I, 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 I'm not I, either, I but I don't know. Taylor Swift. Yeah, I, I'm not an anti Swifty, yeah. but I am anti anti Swifties. Yes, yes. Well, I agree. I agree. And by the way, Maddie and I were just saying this morning, we're full on board. We want them to get married and have babies now. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. We're all board. I'm, I'm I on love board. Them yep. together. Taylor just like those ring. Chiefs haters, I was a T Swift hater. Now I'm kind of like, okay, so sweet. coming yeah. around to her Taylor. and Travis. <laughs> I'm playing more defense for Taylor Swift than the Chiefs did yesterday. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm all for, for Taylor. We're all yes. for it, Taylor guys. time. Big We're all for Taylor time. I'm wondering, though, is Tom... Tom, are you all in for T-Swift and Kelsey? You know, at this point, I'd say, yeah. Okay. Yeah, why not? Keep it going. Why not? Don't... Why, why, why not? let a good thing go to waste, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine once they do have a kid, all the Vegas <laughs> bet makers on what the name's going to be? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> I can't even think that far ahead. <laughs> Oh, look at me just planning the future. One step yeah, right. Don't jinx it. They're babies. Don't jinx it. Big game first. Okay. Big game first. That's what we're focused on. Babies later. We'll start.